our icon is now correctly showing the browser window directly underneath it, but chances are this is only working correctly if you are on OS X. If you're on Windows, you're probably seeing this window appear. I believe it's gonna appear directly underneath the taskbar up here. So you might just see the very top of the window right now. So let's do a little bit of fix to make sure that it appears correctly on Windows as well. So here's our guide. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to say that if we are on Windows, we want the top left-hand corner of the window. And remember, that's what we are modifying when we call set bounds right here. This is positioning the very top left-hand corner of the window. So if we're on Windows, we're going to say that we want the top left hand of the window to appear at the click event Y bounds minus the window Y bounds. So essentially, take this window all the way down here and then scoot it up by this much. And that should get it to appear nicely on the screen. So to do so, we want to make sure that we only apply this little tweak if we are running on not OS X, essentially. So we can do another process.platform check to look at our operating system and then change the value of this Y coordinate right here. So right above the set bounds call, we'll say Y position. This is going to be the result of a ternary expression. So remember with a ternary, we say process.platform. Are we on Darwin? And then we put the question mark. If we are currently running on Darwin, which is OS X, then we want to just stick with the current Y value. So we'll put Y in here. We're gonna say, no change required, just use the Y value. However, if we are on Windows, so in other words, if we're on anything besides Darwin, I wanna put the window at Y minus height, like so. So that's going to be the click event bounds minus the height of the window. So now, rather than positioning this thing always at exactly the click event bounds, we'll say that the Y position of the window should come from Y position, like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna restart the application again. And of course, I'm running this on OS X, so I'm kinda of just doing lip service here. But if you're on Windows and you now toggle this thing, you should correctly see the window appear at the very bottom right-hand side of the screen. If it's not working correctly on Windows, of course, post in the discussion and I'll help you figure out what's going on. Okay, so we've made some good progress here. We now have the ability to toggle the presence of the window based on the uh, clicking on the icon itself. And when a user clicks on the icon, we are also correctly positioning the window on the screen. So this is working pretty well so far. Let's continue with a couple other tweaks in the next section.